Hey there, just wanted to make a quick video to show that the unit works and also how to program it. So if you ever wanted to manually feed your pet, you can just press and hold this third button in right here. Press it, hold it until it dispenses. And that amount there is what one portion of food would be. Now to convert this down to one feeder, just lift this up, take this off, Okay, so now it would be just for one. To program the unit, to set the time, you would press and hold this clock button right here until it starts to flash. And then you've got your hour and minute button. So you would just set the appropriate time of day, AM, PM indicator, and the minute button. Right, and then you would just wait for that to stop flashing. Once that is done flashing, you need to program the meals. So to do that, you would just press this meal button. You've got meals one through six. Meal one is flashing, and you want to set the time of day that goes off. So you would use the same buttons, hour, minute. So let's say seven, 20, 7.25 a.m. And then this number underneath the one is how many portions. So that's this little food button here, the dish button. And you'd say 10 portions, for example, which is actually quite a bit. For two cats, I always had this set to eight portions. So then if you wanted to program another meal, for example, meal number two, and you wanted this to be a snack later at night, say 9.01 p.m., for example, and you just want to give them a little bit. So I would just set that to two portions. So to double check the meals you have programmed, just press the meal button. 7.25 a.m., meal one, for 10 portions. Press meal again. 9.01 p.m., for meal number two, at two portions. And if you just leave them blank, Zero, 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 zero. those will do nothing. If you make a mistake and you need to say 10 is too many, so you would just, you could just press and hold all the way up. It goes up to 48. So I just slow down and go manually for seven, 48, and then back to zero. And you can start over from there. If you want a message to play when it's time for them to eat, you can Press and hold this record button until the red light comes on. Time to come eat. And then just let go. And then to hear the message, you can just press the button one time. Time to come eat. So that's really everything you need to know about the unit. Uh, I do have the instruction manual here and the original box it came in. Uh, you can also put four double D batteries in it as a backup if the power ever does go out. And the unit does remember the settings regardless. It has a built-in battery somewhere inside the unit. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions.